Hello everyone and welcome back to a new video and on today's video we are going to be taking a little break from the villager hunting because I want to give you guys some you know different videos here and there so what we'll be building today is a pretty big school all in this same video here and also too I wanted to show you guys this too because uh, my island name is called paradox and that is for a reason and I will be making two different themes in this island. So instead of like the four in one, it'll be two in one. Uh, this will be the complete opposite from, well, Kid Core. Uh, you guys let me know uh, if you guys like that idea. I think it will be kind of cool. Uh, so you'll see me kind of making a line here uh, because it will be half of the island. Uh, but yeah, uh, you guys let me know if you like that idea uh, because that's what I plan on doing initially. And I think it'll give you guys more content and also more ideas. Uh, but you guys let me know what you what your thoughts are, just because I don't know. I, I feel like it would be kind of cool, and uh, I don't know. I know you all have been enjoying the kick core, uh, so if you guys just want to see more kick core, uh, let me know. Or if you want to see another theme on this island, uh, please let me know uh, because it really will help me out on my decision. Uh, just because. I don't know, I'll give you guys some variety, I guess, rather than like the same thing over and over again. Uh, well, to my best ability. I know it is Animal Crossing and it is kind of the same thing over and over again, but I try to spice things up and give you guys something else to want to watch and see, and it may help someone else out there on a build that they're struggling with. And I don't know, I just want to help people out and hopefully you guys can understand what I'm saying. Now on today's build, like I said, it's going to be a pretty big build and I had this thought in mind for a while. Like I said, I'm going to be making a school and I'm kind of nervous just because I want it to work with the theme and hopefully you guys do like it and think it does go well with the kick or theme uh, just because I didn't really want to do like the standard uh, <laughs> like elementary school type thing like you would see probably in I don't know kid core uh, I wanted to go for something more like realistic like I said before I'm making like a kid core but realistic city core island well like half island whatever so I don't really know how this is going to work <laughs> but hopefully it does just because I have seen a lot of cool I guess like ideas and I got inspired by one specific thing that you guys will see here before too long well you probably already seen it in the thumbnail uh, but it's it's graffiti so like I want to create like a paint like looking school like where there's I guess the primary like thing at the school is for painting and stuff and I don't know I feel like it's gonna look really cool uh, hopefully it does uh, right now I'm kind of mapping out where I want like the stairs like the staircases and stuff to be at uh, unfortunately I did discover this while I was building I can't time travel <laughs> if I time travel right now uh, my villager plot would just fill in so I guess we'll be going stairless for right now until I find my villager and when I do, I will make sure to add it in the video uh, just because, yeah, my school kind of needs stairs because you all won't be able to go, I guess, like in the classrooms and stuff unless you bring like a ladder or if I leave a ladder on like the dream address. But yeah, I need to make sure I do that because that would be really embarrassing if I just leave it without. Uh, but yeah, uh, I finished up kind of filling in like the top area here and luckily uh for me and you all uh the bookshelves that i had uh, that i made on like my other islands i had a lot of extra ones so i just went on my other account and brought over a lot of bookshelves just because i feel like they do make for like the best school build uh like when you're making a fake building that is and i did leave some spots open uh you guys will see why i did that later on uh, but yeah, so I went ahead and kind of capped off every little bit of like the school, especially like on this like outside for right now. 
and this tree got in my way so I went ahead and ate an apple and removed that and I definitely did not think it was going to take this many bookshelves uh, but it took a lot <laughs> and I did actually have to go make some and <laughs> if you guys watch my other videos you know how long it took me to make all the other bookshelves for my other school build it took a long time and I did end up deciding to actually only go with one staircase just because this school isn't going to be like it is big but it's not like too too big so I didn't think it was necessary so I'm only going to use one and for like where this was at right here, I went ahead and left the spot open so I can plant a little apple tree uh, just because I think it will look cute. And yeah, so this is majority of the like outside area completed. And now when you go up top and actually see where I need to start like placing like actual like bookshelves. So where I know like where I'm gonna map everything out just because I don't know the layout yet. Uh, I have an idea, but uh, I didn't know fully on where I wanted to place anything at. So uh, per the usual, uh, I was winging things and hopefully it would just work out. And I made like a little hole, like a little opening for this classroom here. I feel like that looks really good. And I don't know, at this point, I got kind of confused on what I was gonna do, uh, <laughs> but it all worked out then, just trust me. And I did kind of mess up here, so <laughs> I, worked on my simple panels i use the same glass door as a school door uh like i'd use for my blockbuster and then also here is the graffiti panels i feel like these are super cool i really like how they looked uh again i'm hoping that it goes with the kit core theme just because it, it's really colorful and i don't know it has like a little smiley face and stuff uh i feel like it looks really cool i kind of just mixed it in with the windows itself it kind of almost looks like I don't know like a rundown graffiti kick core school or something I don't know there's too much core stuff that you can just say uh, but hopefully it all makes sense and unfortunately for me I did place down some bookshelves right in the front of the school uh, so I had, to do, I had to pick up a few of them just to make sure I can actually place them down and <laughs> your boy was struggling here so I just picked up those other two bookshelves and just placed the other two back down now I was really liking how this was coming out, uh, but again, I'm just nervous that it's not gonna work with the gig core. Uh, you guys let me know in the comments if it does, uh, because I guess I can change it up a little bit to make it fit the gig core theme, but I'm sure you all will let me know. And in the front, right in the middle, I placed a, like a little clock. Uh, I feel like that works well with the school. And over here on the other side where I first place down all my bookshelves I just picked them back up and put some more simple panels down and honestly it works out for me just because it's like one less bookshelf I have to get and then now I'm finally kind of mapping out how I'm going to have this little classroom to be I had a really cool idea that came to me while I was doing this and I can't wait to show you guys just because I think it fits kind of with what I was going for on one of my other builds but yeah to cover up that little spot with the clock i just put a locker i don't know i feel like it works so i just left it and i did the same thing once again i need to put down the simple panels before i put down the bookshelves so i went ahead and picked them up once again and then <laughs> scooted these down and then just put the bookshelves like right in front of it you would think i learned my lesson like the first two times but i didn't <laughs> so i went ahead and did that and i was really loving how this was coming out and now i just need to kind of cut this off to where i can start creating actual like rooms because a majority of like the front of the build is done now so i need to really work on the shape of a classroom uh it's kind of weird doing this just because they're not real like actually made into the game so doing this is always kind of difficult just because it is a really fake building and making it look good is the biggest challenge just because it's not real <laughs> but yeah so this right here is what i was making those little spaces for is scaffolding like i said i wanted to incorporate a lot of paint stuff 
So I got every different color of scaffolding and placed them in front of the school building. I feel like this is really cool and it really emphasizes on that it's like an art school. I just thought it was really cool and I haven't really seen anything like this before. And the lockers, I grabbed every single color just to match with the kickboard theme. And I thought it was a cute idea. So I just kind of rolled with it and started placing down different color lockers in a random order. And I don't know, I really love that and I just thought it looked really cute. Now finishing up this classroom here, just the walls, I went ahead and placed down all the like remainder of the book shelves. And I told you, I did not think that it was gonna take this many bookshelves, but it did, it took a lot. Uh, so I'm glad that I had the starter ones that I had already. So I didn't really have to make too, too many. And now that that's done, we can actually start placing down the classrooms. So this was hard for me just because I had to keep in mind that this is a kid core island and not like a modern day island. So I had to find like a good median to where it's both. And that was really challenging for me because everything I was doing, it just ended up looking like a modern day classroom. And I didn't want to, didn't want to do that. So instead of like, I don't know, instead of just going with what I thought, I just improvised, I guess. And I decided to make two different types of classrooms. So this one is going to be for a different grade. So like this would be if you're like in middle school and this room right here will be for like elementary. So I'm putting down like froggy chairs and stuff to make it a lot more cutesy. And I feel like that was a really cute idea just because it can show different age groups. And I don't know, I feel like it works out. Uh, I know my school growing up, we had elementary and middle school both combined. So I don't know, I feel like this was a really cool idea. So I just wanted to implement that, but I was really confused on how I could really pull all these together just because I don't know. I feel like it was looking too empty. Uh, the walls, first off, were way too white. <laughs> so I didn't want it to make it look like a crazy like school or something. So I didn't know what I was going to do about that. So I went ahead and just started placing on other objects to hopefully get an idea in mind what I wanted to do. And over here, I made like a little janitor, like little place, just because I always do that. And to make it look a little bit little bit more realistic i placed down a mop and a wet floor sign and putting stuff on the lockers uh it can be crash related or kick core related or like anything like that i feel like it needed that just to help set the theme and then also in our little kid area so in our neighborhood we did a birthday party and i know some schools do this but if it's your birthday they like to make you feel special so I went ahead and incorporated that into the classroom. I feel like that was a really cute idea because we can have crafts everywhere. Uh, they can be, I don't know, if make believe that they're wrapping presents or something because it's a craft school. Uh, me showing off the cake rather than placing it. So I went ahead and placed on some birthday items to help fill in this area. And I really love this idea. I feel like it was really cute. And plus it plays along into the neighborhood too. I don't know i feel like that was a really cool idea and it's really cute also i wanted to add a street piano and behind the teacher's desk i just added another bookshelf uh i don't know i feel like it worked and then the fly i caught <laughs> you see i'm definitely gonna be using that that's a fly i caught before one of my uh, villager hunts i wanted to use this uh you'll see this in a later video but yeah i went ahead and placed it right on the locker and yeah this is the final walkthrough i'm really happy with how everything turned out but yeah you guys just take the time to look i love how everything turned out hopefully this fits with the kid core theme i really think it does like i said i wanted to create something modern and realistic but in a kid core way and hopefully my thoughts can i don't know come to life and you guys like it but i'm sure you guys will let me know because I'm really nervous, <laughs> but I'm really happy with how everything turned out. And that wraps up today's graffiti school build. 
hopefully you guys did enjoy and hopefully this does work with kick core i i really think it does but you guys will let me know but yeah this was a really fun build and this was just kind of my thoughts and ideas coming alive on animal crossing but yeah if you guys liked today's video don't forget to like rate and subscribe and until next time